Hi everyone, I am going to make a series of tutorials about WMS, Watershed Modeling System. In first tutorial, I am going to show you how we can delineate a watershed and determine a flow accumulation. Now I open the software, then click Hydrologic Modeling Wizard. From here you can determine the location you want to save your model. Click, I want to find my location, right location, then WMS, create a folder, name it tutorial one. Okay, open it, watershed delineation, and here WMS XMDF project, save, then next. From here, you can select a project projection, click this one, select global projection, set projection. Okay, scroll down. I want to select UTM, so I click project Kit coordinate system, scroll down, find UTM, scroll down again, find WGS 1984. It depends on you. My location located in Northern Hemisphere, expand it. I selected uh, 38 North according to my study area. Okay. From here, I select local. From here, you can change the units. I select meter. Okay. Now I have to define a boundary of my study area. So from here, you can search for your boundary. I selected Arbil. My study area located in Arbil. Jump to search location. Okay. Change it to imagery to see the study area in a clear way. Zoom in. We are going to design a pond from this location but I want to select a boundary which includes a watershed. I think it's enough. If I just click OK, direct to the software, determine this boundary for my study area. Let's see. OK. You see directly it's selected. Minimum X, maximum X, minimum Y, maximum Y. Then, next, next. From here, I want to select world imagery we can expand it to see world imagery. Also, uh, world elevation data. Directly, it uh, download the imagery for my study area and elevation data or DM data, digital elevation data. Click download. Enter the raster cell size. You can enter I enter five. Okay, we have to wait. From here, you can select a resolution, better resolution. For example, I selected a 3.9 meter resolution. Okay, just wait. We are almost done. Good. Click next. From here, you can directly calculate the flow accumulation, but I don't want to do it here. I just click close. If you want to see uh, the imagery just bring to here. You can see it. You can click here. Then this one. If you click DM, directly we can compute flow direction or accumulation. Click it. Run topaz. Okay. You can change the unit here. Square miles, hectare, acre. I select hectare. Meter. Okay. Now it's done. Just click close. If I uncheck imagery you can see the flow accumulation i need to see the imagery to find my location if i zoom in here is a location which we are going to build a point so i select outlet point i have to create outlet point here then from dm delineate basin wizard you can change the unit for example i change it to Square kilometer. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it delineates the watershed. Okay. I want to uncheck imagery. Then also I want to uncheck elevation. Click display option. DM. I uncheck DM contours. Okay. If I click this one. DM. I don't need points. 
vertices I don't need. Okay, let me change the color. Display option. Drainage basin display option. Color fill. For example, I change it to this color. Okay. Good. I want to show you another thing. You see here, I have a label. How we can get this label? Just click this one. We get this one. Label. You can change its location. Okay. Also, here we have area, basin, and maximum flow slope. How we can change it? If you click display option, click drainage data, you can change it. For example, I don't want to see basin slope or maximum flow slope. You see how it changed? Just it shows area. I want to display a uh, basin slope also. Okay. For example, I want to determine a uh, sub basin. It's how we can do it. Click this uh, outlet. So for example, I want to determine a watershed for this uh, pouring point or for this one also. Let be for this one. Then from DEM delineate basin wizard okay 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 good you see i determine sub basins from here you can change the location of the label now i want to remove a field of the sub basins how we can do it select coverage dm from here just uncheck okay also you can see the flow pass for example i want to click here to see to know where the water from this point goes to which uh, flow accumulation you see it shows me that water comes to this direction from here it goes to this direction here it goes to here okay also you can trim click this one then right click you can trim polygon okay I want to trim our DM okay that's the trim it and check this one and check this one also now okay you see if I uncheck if I uncheck this one I see only the flow accumulation to this uh, study area don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel see you in next tutorial have a nice time